The Five Martyrs of the Lesapa Phone, Jean Marie Arthas, Jacques Baudry, Pierre Benoit, Pierre Grillot, Lucien Legros. They were five students from the Lesapa Phone shot by the Germans in Paris at the Stand de Terre Billard on the 8th of February 1943 for their activities with the French resistance. Also, their families were taken hostage. Following the war, each of the students was posthumously awarded the Legion of Honor, the Croix de Guerre in 1939 to 1945, and the Resistance Medal. The arrest of one of their teachers, Raymond Burgard, in 1942 spurred them to lead a student demonstration whose mass arrest they barely escaped. By that time their identities were known, and the boys had to go underground. For their remaining months at liberty, they lived on the run and participated in occasional armed attacks on occupying forces until that summer. When French intelligence arrested Arthas, Baudry, Grillot and Legros, and French police later caught Benoit. Some high school pupils against Nazi Germany, on the 22nd of June 1940, following the defeat of France and the signing of the Armistice, a high school in the 15th district of Paris, the Le Sapa Phone, became involved in the fight against Nazi Germany. Teachers and pupils dared to defy and demonstrate against the occupying forces. Five of them, whose ages ranged from 15 to 18, augmented the acts of resistance. Wanted by the Gestapo as dangerous terrorists, the five students from the Lisaba Fon were finally arrested and then executed in February 1943 to 1940 and 1941. The Lisaba Fon joins the resistance movement June 1940. Paris and part of France are in the hands of the Germans. The armistice was signed on the 22nd of June. However, not all French people accepted it. Some, responding to General de Gaulle's appeal of the 18th of June, managed to get to England, whilst others chose to continue the fight at home. Pockets of resistance were formed and both mass and individual acts of resistance became more and more frequent. In the Parisian universities and schools, the new term began in an atmosphere of muffled opposition. Pamphlets calling people to join the struggle began to circulate and anti-German slogans appeared on walls. At the Lesapa Phone, as in other establishments, a resistance movement began to take shape among both pupils and teachers. This same impulse to act and fight by any means against the Nazi occupant, was what motivated the five pupils of this establishment in particular. Jean Marie Arthas, 15 years old in 1940 Jacques Baudry, 18 years old in 1940 Pierre Grillot, 17 years old in 1940 Lucien Legros, 16 years old in 1940 by distributing pamphlets and sticking up posters. These five pupils spread the word amongst their school friends. They tried hard to make them understand that the war was not over and that they had to fight against the occupying army. They took pseudonyms, Mark Hand. Andre, Francis, Paul and Janot, setting up a small printing press in the, the police services became concerned about the activities of these young people, whose identity was as yet unknown. The 11th of November 1940, the students dare to defy the Nazi occupant since 1922. The French Republic had officially celebrated the 11th of November. In commemoration of the signing of the armistice on the 11th of November 1918, at the end of the hostilities of the First World War, 
As the 11th of November 1940 approached, despite the ban by the German authorities and the police department, a patriotic demonstration was organized at the Arc de Triomphe. The pupils from the Lycée Buffon were present in the procession of students, who came to lay flowers on the grave of the unknown soldier. The students step up their acts of resistance during 1941, resistance groups and networks increased. The number of attacks and sabotages increased against the Nazi occupant, whose repression measures intensified. On the 11th of May 1941, the students from the Lycée Buffon were amongst the crowd that paraded in front of the statue of Joan of Arc in the Place des Pyramids. During the winter of 1941, the five fellow students decided to become even more involved in the armed resistance. They joined the resistance movement that would give birth to the Franks Tireurs et Partisans Francais. 1942-1943 The repression of the students from the Lycée Buffon in April 1942, the students go into hiding in April 1942, Professor Burgard, a teacher from the Lycée Buffon and the head of the Valmy resistance movement, was arrested in his home by the Gestapo. The reaction of his pupils was instant. They decided to protest publicly. During the Easter holidays, they organized a demonstration which took place at the start of the new term on Thursday the 16th of April 1942. On this day, during morning break time, around 50 pupils from other establishments brought by Lucy and Legros, broke into the Lycée and joined the Buffon group led by Pierre Benoit, Jean-Marie Arthus, Jacques Baudry and Pierre Grillot were given the task of keeping watch and raising the alarm in the event of danger. For ten minutes, pamphlets were handed out and appeals made. The pupils began to disperse when the bell rang, but an agent in the Lycée had already closed the exits and warned the police. The five ringly doors managed to escape. Lucy and Legros and Pierre Benoit were now wanted as very dangerous young people and forced to live in hiding. Far from ceasing, the work of the five friends intensified. They took part in attacks on German officers, launching grenades against a German admiral and his guests during a reception held on a boat on Seine. They slipped pamphlets under doors and stuck up posters etc. accomplishing all these gestures, both small and great, that contributed to sapping the morale of the occupant and maintaining a climate of insecurity. June 1942 some students are arrested and handed over to the Gestapo on the 3rd and the 4th of June 1942, four of them were betrayed and arrested. Only Pierre Benoit managed to escape. On the 17th of June 1942, Lucien Legros, Jean-Marie Arthus and Pierre Grillot appeared together in front of the special court in Paris charged with participating in a demonstration organized in Rudy Bucci in the 6th district. The three young people were each given a life sentence of hard labor without the possibility to appeal. They were then handed over to the Gestapo, along with Jacques Baudry who had also been involved in attacks on occupying troops. Pierre Benoit, who was still at large, was sentenced to death in absentia. At the head of an FTP group, he carried on the struggle under the pseudonym El Orient. Based with his team in Fontainebleau, he directed sabotage operations on railway tracks and aerodromes. Wounded by a bullet during an operation, he made his way to Paris on foot for treatment. 
reported to be a highly dangerous terrorist leader. He was actively sought throughout France. August 1942, the fifth student, Pierre Benoit, is arrested on the 28th of August 1942. Pierre Benoit was arrested near Saint Lazare Station and joined his school friends in La Santé Prison. October 1942, the five students are sentenced to death on the 15th of October 1942, following a new trial. The five resistance fighters were sentenced to death by the court of the Luftwaffe and transferred to Fresnes Prison. They continued their action even from inside the prison, where they tried to win over their guards. They refused to receive a visit from the German chaplain, since he wore the SS uniform. Considered to be rebels, they were banned from receiving mail and visitors. Jacques Baudry and Lucien Legros tried twice to escape, but they were caught at the last minute inside the outer wall and put in irons. February 1943 the five students from the Lycée Buffon are executed by the Nazis on the 8th of February 1943. The five students were shot at the firing range in issy les moulineaux and buried in the cemetery in Ivory. Thank you for watching Death Row.